next technique is the cheek tilt. All right, in this position, what I'm looking to get is I'm looking to get his wrist on a two-on-one just like this. I want both hands on the inside. One's gonna be on his elbow joint, the other's gonna be on his wrist, okay? Once I grabbed his two-on-one, I'm gonna pull it in tight to his stomach, okay? From here, I take my left knee, I put it on top of his thigh, and my right knee goes underneath his uh, butt, pretty much. So I drive forward, and I get to that same position, similar to the breakdown. Once I'm here, I'm driving forward, and then pulling him on top of me. So I drive forward to his shoulder, and I pull him into this position right here. Now this is the tilt position. My left leg is pointing, my knee is pointing up towards the ceiling, and my right leg is elevating the far foot. Okay, this tilt position is exactly the same no matter what grip I have with his arm. All right, so knees pointing to the ceiling, right knee is tilting just like this. And as you can see, we're creating like a T. All right, we're both perpendicular to each other. We're not laying side by side. Okay, show you guys one more time. So again, you can do the spiral breakdown, whatever you end up doing to get the two on one. Boom, get the wrist, collect it to here. Pull it in tight to his waist here. I'm gonna get my left knee in front. I'm gonna suck him back into my hip. My left knee is pointed to the sky. My right foot is elevating his leg. All right, and I'm pulling this tight to my waist. Now, if he turns away from me to get off his back, I will pull this wrist tight. If he turns into me, I will push on the crease of his elbow to make sure he stays on his back. So as he's fighting off his back, you will use your arms to make sure that he stays on his back. All right, when I, after I get my back points, I can drop my knee down and come right back on top and get ready to score again.